If you're transitioning to a glass cockpit aircraft like the 172 with the G1000 here, you may be comfortable shooting non-precision approaches, but there are some tips and tricks to doing it with the new avionics and autopilot setup. We're flying an RNAV into Cambridge, Maryland, with circling minimums only, so it's strictly an LNAV approach. No vertical guidance, not even the advisory glide path. Let's start out by loading and activating the approach. We've already got our flight plan in the GPS, so we go over to the MFD, hit the PROC hard key on the side, hit enter to select approach. We want the RNAV alpha, so we use the outer FMS knob to scroll to that, then hit enter. We're doing the full approach from Graco, no course reversal. We want to set the minimum descent altitude, so we twist the inner knob to select Barrow, then the outer knob to move the cursor over, then the inner knob to set 740, enter. We'll use the outer knob to scroll to activate and hit enter. The GPS is now navigating us to the initial fix, Graco. The flight director is in nav mode following the GPS guidance and in altitude mode, set at 2000, with the autopilot engaged. We'll fly into Graco and then turn right to join the route to Avio. As we approach Avio, we can activate approach mode on the flight director if we want. This is always a good thing to do once cleared for the approach. We push the APR hard key, but nothing changes on the status bar. We're still in GPS mode with nothing else armed. On a non-precision GPS-based approach with no glide path like this, the only guidance is the GPS lateral course. So functionally, there's no difference between nav mode and approach mode. Still, this is a best practice. Next, we're gonna bug our step-down altitude to 1700 feet using the altitude knob. Passing a VIO, we could start down by reducing power and pressing the VS hard key to set vertical speed mode. If we push the nose down hard key a few times, we can set a vertical speed of 400 feet per minute and the autopilot starts a descent. Reaching 1700 feet, the autopilot goes into altitude capture mode and pitches up to level off. We respond with an increase in power back to cruise or for desired speed. We can now set our bottom altitude for the approach. The MDA is 740, so let's set 700. On a real unit, we'd be able to actually set 740 since we've bugged that as our MDA. If we had a glide slope to follow, we wouldn't need to bug a bottom altitude. The flight director would just follow the vertical guidance. Just before the final approach fix ZDEP, we'll reduce power and introduce flaps for the approach. Passing the fix, we hit VS again and set a vertical speed using the nose down hard key. Now, we need to level off of the MDA prior to the missed approach point the runway threshold, preferably a mile or so before to give us time to spot the runway. Here's a great tip to plan where our descent will level off. On the MFD, hit the menu hard key and enter for map settings. Use the outer FMS knob to scroll to select alt arc and the inner knob to turn it on. That little arc now showing up on the moving map is where we'll hit our bugged altitude of 700. If we change our descent rate using the nose down button, notice the arc moves up. And if we hit nose up, the arc moves back. We'd like a descent rate that puts the arc a mile or so from the runway. We can adjust power to our desired airspeed for this descent. Now, this pink bar on the altitude tape is our altitude trend vector. It shows where our altitude will be in six seconds on the current trend. We're gonna wanna start a level off when this pink bar touches our bugged MDA of 740 feet shown by the bracket symbol rising up on the altitude tape. When that happens, we hit the ALT hard key and increase power as the aircraft levels off at the current altitude giving us a buffer and we increase power. Through this wind shear here, we spot the runway, but we're gonna hold altitude to the missed approach point. We're gonna bug the missed approach altitude 2000 feet and ensure that our heading bug is on the heading that's currently keeping us on the approach course as our missed procedure is a straight out climb. Arriving at the missed approach point, we give it full power and initiate a climb by hitting the FLC hard key and the nose up button to set our climb speed of 80 knots or so. We unsuspend the approach with the SUSP soft key at the bottom to get sequenced on the mist. If you like, you can also switch off the autopilot before going mist, setting up the flight director as we showed, and then re-engaging the autopilot once you're comfortable doing so. I hope these few tricks will help you, and if you're transitioning to a glass cockpit aircraft like this, consider the Flight Insight course on G1000s linked here or in the description. See you there.